My mother was very excited to hear about my new friend, Adam. It would have meant my first new friend since the devastating sleepover of 96, where my best friend at the time, Daniel, decided to destroy and rip up my most prized possession, my Pokemon Charizard card. Unfortunately, I'll have you disappoint my mother. Adam is my new friend. But he won't be coming to Thanksgiving. He's my favorite text editor. Let's take a look. Well, hello there. This is Frederick John, bringing you a short video on the Adam text editor. Adam is a text editor that is brought to us by GitHub. You can find it at adam.io. It's a pretty fantastic text editor because it's, as they say, modern, approachable, yet hackable to the core. But let's take a look at why someone might want to use Adam as opposed to one of the many alternatives that are out there. The Adam Text Editor comes with many different packages. They're like plugins for WordPress. You can add these packages to extend the functionality of your text editor. So if you're using something like Notepad++, you really want to get with the times and update your text editor. A modern text editor allows you to code more effectively, more efficiently, you can write more code in less time, and the shortcuts make coding, dare I say, fun. Let's take a look at some of the features of Atom. The first thing we'll do is open up our terminal, which is pretty much the first line in any web developing video. First thing we'll do is open up our terminal. An important part in web development, web design, if you're not familiar with how to use the terminal, I've created a video, you can find it on the YouTube page, Introduction to Terminal Command Prompt. So the first thing we'll do is navigate to my Projects folder here, and when we're in the Projects folder, I have a special folder that we're going to open. It is called Sassy Ray Linda, and we're going to take a look at that in Atom, so we're going to type Atom space period and hit enter. That's going to tell Adam, hey, I want you to open up everything that's in this directory. It's going to go ahead and open up this directory. You can see everything is color coded. It makes it very easy to, to, to differentiate between what is on the page. You see all the red tags are going to be my HTML tags. You can see I have the head, I have the navigation, the div. Those are all the standard HTML elements. And then in orange, we have these attributes, the classes, the hrefs, rel. That speaks to having code that is maintainable, uh, having everything very, very easy to, to read. It's very readable at this point. Now you'll see also that we have our sublime flavored um, minimap over here on the right. You can adjust the settings and make it bigger or smaller. I just like to leave it uh, about this size here. So this minimap feature can be implemented using a plugin, an Atom plugin. And let's take a look at some of the other plugins that are available that can really help speed up and improve your development and make coding a lot more fun. You can see here that I have images right next to all of the file names. That really speeds up your ability, ability to navigate the application directory because if you're looking for a SAS file the SAS logos are right here so you can very easily find the git ignore or if you're looking for an image you know where to search for it and you'll be able to see that and associate that with the file you're looking for and then quickly be able to click on that and it helps you to navigate around now this is something where if you've ever used the uh, browser and you have your bookmarks bar if you have uh, a bunch of different bookmarks and you're using the favicons and, you, and you're kind of looking through and you, you find the bookmark that you're looking for based on the favicon. And then if one day sometimes all of your favicons disappear 
and now you're looking at your bookmarks but you don't have those little icons you'll find that it's very frustrating and it's much harder to navigate even though you're used to all the websites and and they're in the same location it makes it more difficult to navigate because your brain is used to searching for that little image and that's how you associate the website you're looking for so by having these although it's a simply an aesthetic feature it also helps you to navigate more quickly around your project which comes in handy especially if you have larger projects let's take a look at another plugin that is incredibly useful here you'll see a package called pigment in action it's going to display to the screen what the actual color is so we have some variables in our SCSS file that we're planning on using in our project now I like to declare my variables I like to to list my colors in with their hex values so um, that in my in my projects but also in real life generally uh, when people ask me hey uh, Frederick what's your favorite color a lot of times I'll respond Octothorpe 0076 a3 <laughs> uh, but most people don't do that they actually use the actual colors blue green you'll see here off-white so with the pigments package uh, Adam's going to find that color automatically display it to the screen it makes it a lot easier to determine what color is what and which hex value goes with, with which color now we can create a new document using command N it's going to give us an untitled document if we do command s it's going to save the document and then we can save it with the extension um, whatever the document is we're going to say um, example page.html now once we save that it's going to automatically give us the HTML5 icon here I'm going to find some HTML to post into the page so that I can demonstrate the next feature So what I've done is generated a sample page and filled it with some content that I got from Cupcake Ipsum. And now what we're going to do is use this package that is called Preview HTML and Enable Preview. What this is going to do is it's going to generate for us a preview of our page and it's going to generate that right inside the Atom text editor. Now this is an awesome feature. I used the brackets text editor for a while. That's a text editor that's free. It was created by Adobe. It's an excellent text editor. I still use it sometimes. Um, but then I discovered that there's this package that does this. One of the things I like about this HTML preview is it's giving us a live preview within our Atom editor so we don't have to switch screens we don't have to look at a, a second monitor or anything we can actually make changes and it's going to reflect instantly within our site and let me show you an example of that if I go to the main uh, hero section here that says our blog I can change that to um, something Frederick is talking and it's going to update that I, now you'll see I did not even save the page here okay I didn't save the page I didn't refresh or do anything it's just automatically gonna pick up on those updates and um, we have awesome blog post title so let's go change that to something to the effect of even better post title you'll see automatically that changed so if you're currently working with a text editor and you're you're having to refresh the screen and see what it looks like and then uh, you know clearing your cache out to make sure that's not affecting it and constantly switching screens refreshing switching screens refreshing I recommend trying this it's much easier because you can just set the the widths however you'd like and once you have um, Oh, that's the other thing you can see that it's responsive as it gets smaller then the screen is going to adjust accordingly um, 
that's a feature of foundation but you you don't have to worry about switching screens refreshing any of that is all taken care of and you're getting the latest up-to-date changes so if you see you made a change and you don't like how it looks well then you can edit that very very easily and you'll see the results immediately so it, it's it's been something that's increased my productivity and hopefully can do something similar for you